Hello everyone. So I'm going to get right into the reading, whatever the cards want to say. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. And I really appreciate you guys engaging with my channel. As you know, I'm trying to get back into the algorithm still. YouTube changed the algorithm and it's made things kind of complicated for a lot of readers. But I really do appreciate you guys leaving comments, even just leaving a heart comment. And I love hearing your stories and liking the videos too. Thank you guys for that. Okay, let's get into it. Pathway, false person. Okay, somebody, okay, somebody's path was blocked by a false person. Maybe somebody that was envious of you. It's almost like the path was open. I almost see like, I'm hearing like toxic, but toxic butterflies. <laughs> I know that sounds so strange, but it's like, I've never looked at it like that before, but it's almost like, like poison. So it's almost like you were being led down this path and it looked, it's like, it's like a not all that glitters is gold kind of energy. This could have been like a false financial offer, false love offer. We're going to look more into it. But it was some kind of path where it seemed bright. It seemed like it was illuminated. But there was actually some kind of toxicity. Like what you were following wasn't, um, it wasn't trustworthy. I feel like some false person here just blocked you from going down your true path. It's almost like they wanted to present you with a false path so you wouldn't take... Um, so when the, when the genuine path came around, you wouldn't take it. You wouldn't recognize it. It's like someone wanted to lead you astray. We're going to look into this here. We've got pathway, false person, adjudication. But they're being judged is what I'm feeling. Yeah, they're being judged and they're in despair. This person, whoever this is, and this is like a very toxic person. This isn't this isn't somebody who's a good person deep down, but they're damaged or they have some trauma. Uh, you know, maybe they act out once in a while. This isn't the kind of person I'm feeling. I'm feeling this false person is like intentionally manipulative, intentionally deceptive. You know, it's, it's not just someone who's damaged. It's somebody who, who puts effort into being a bad person. They don't care who they screw over as long as they get ahead. But they're being judged. There's some kind of um, spiritual justice here. This could even be a legal issue too in the physical world for some of you. For like maybe 10-20% of you, I'm getting this actually is some kind of uh, legal issue where maybe someone tried to frame you or they tried to mislead you and they're being judged. And the, the court ruling is going to go in your favor. For the majority, though, I actually feel like this adjudication, I feel like it's actually more of like a spiritual court, like your spirit guides, your your spirit team, you know, uh, beings in the higher realm. I feel like they're coming together to clear the path for you. And I feel like whoever did this to you, especially because they did it intentionally, you know, spirit guides, like you, you can't hide from your spirit guides. If you have bad intentions, they're going to know they're going to pick up on it. And I feel like this person, it's this person might have been very narcissistic. So I feel like I get the energy that they were very charming, especially like looking at the way she's dressed and the way he's dressed. It's like, I feel like they put on a good show. I feel like this person was able to charm pretty much everyone except for you. You were able to see right through them. And I don't think they liked that. I don't think they liked that you could see straight through them. But yeah, I feel, I feel like they're being judged here with adjudication and despair. I feel like your spiritual team is coming through and they've put their foot down. They've said enough is enough. And this person is is probably going through some pretty bad karma with the despair card now. Whatever they did to you, I feel like someone's doing it to them now as well. Court, Yeah, courthouse. That's just another confirmation going right, right, you know, with adjudication here where it's like this person is going through bad karma. This person is being judged for what they did to you. And again, if you're if you're dealing with someone like if you're dealing with like an ex or somebody who, you know, is a good person, they just have a lot of healing they need to do. They're just traumatized. That's this reading is probably not for you. This is this is somebody who intentionally hurt you someone who intentionally was jealous or competitive of you. Uh, wanted to drag you down. I'm getting almost like wicked stepmother kind of energy for someone here. Like it, it's not good energy. So this is like more of a, someone who's more evil, not just damaged. Unexpected income. Message of concern. Hmm. Imprisonment. 
I think this is only for one of you, but for someone, this person might ask you for money and you need to be smart. Because you know this person is just jealous of you, but for some, they're going to they're gonna send you some kind of message that they're going through something and that they need your help financially. Uh, but they're actually just trying to... It's almost like they have some psychic awareness that they're going through bad karma and they're trying to avoid it. It's like they can... I'm sure they're probably not conscious of it, but they can almost get this sense that they're being judged by your spirit guides, by their spirit guides. Like they can just feel the energy around them is just kind of tense. Like they have bad karma um, for what they've done to you or to others in the community as well. If this is a physical issue, this person might even be doing actual, you know, physical world jail time. Community poverty, occupation, mature man. Message. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Tell me more about the message. Just bear with me, guys. Tell me more about the message card and the child card. Thief. High honor. Why high honor, though? Not sure, woman. I almost feel like for someone here, there might be two or more people involved. This could be like a family that's involved in trying to take something from someone. I feel like this person doesn't want to work. I feel like this person is trying to take someone's money and they're trying to appear childlike so that they can steal something from this mature man or this mature woman. And some of you really need to be careful who you're allowing around you. I need to get into tarot. Um, I feel like that's it's going to allow me to go a bit deeper into this. So let's put these away and get into some tarot cards. Okay, so we know that we know that uh, there was um, well, we got the pathway card and it was almost like there was like a path that was open for someone, but it was like a false path. And there was a, the, a false person, a narcissistic, kind of borderline almost evil person that was trying to block that path. Could have even been, I don't know, with those butterflies, those butterflies gave me like almost a strange feeling. It's almost like for some it could have even been like black magic. Like they were trying to create some sort of illusion to get you to go down the wrong path and not see clearly when, you know, the right opportunity came to you. So... Let's say it was like money or something like that. It's almost, this person's kind of smart too. I feel like this person's very charming, kind of uh, maybe even intelligent because it's almost like, like if this person wanted to block your, your money, for example, they didn't just do like a basic, you know, uh, spell, just a, a basic spell to block your money. They, they went all out and tried to create the illusion of opportunity so that you would invest in those false opportunities and when the real opportunity came around, you wouldn't even notice it. So it's like they really thought if, if this is someone that does black magic, like they really thought about it. This isn't somebody that does. This is somebody who does like very elaborate ritualistic magic. This isn't somebody that does like, you know, simple. Oh, I don't like this person. I'm going to block their money. This is like they thought about it. They studied you. They really thought thought hard and long about this. And they're like, OK, I'm going to I'm going to present these these false opportunities so that they go down the wrong path and they put all their energy in that and get distracted by it. For some, I feel like this person is seeking revenge, like they feel like you did the same to them and they want to do it to you, but you might have done it by accident, whereas with them, they're doing it intentionally. Or like, let's say that they were trying to block your love life. Let's say that you were, let's say that they like want your partner or something, because there's different stories here. I mean, it's the same energy group, but there is a couple different you know, just a few slight variations of the story. For some of you, it's it's love. And it's like this person wants what you have basically is what I'm feeling. This person, I just get an energy of them feeling like what you have is not fair. Like why why you and not them kind of energy. And I don't know. I feel like we've, we've tuned into someone like this before in the past too. I don't know if it's the same person or not. But for some, the readings I've done the past couple of months might resonate with you if you're new to my channel too because it's like, it feels like a similar, like, like kind of, 
I don't even want to say victim mentality because it's almost like like tapping in the energy I get from this person it's like they do have a victim mentality but like most victims will kind of they'll just feel sorry for themselves and they'll try to drag you down where it's almost like this person is like like they have like a false sense of power where it's it's like they're coming out of that victim mentality and they're like no I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna even the playing field I'm gonna do it my way I don't care who I have to cross to get to where I'm going I'll screw anybody over I'll use people for money I don't care what I have to do it's like someone that like wants their revenge so it's kind of like a false sense of control like a false sense of power but I, I don't think that they maybe they were in the past seeing themselves as a victim but I don't I don't I think they're really motivated to like get even with you or to to it, it's, it's really weird because I get like this vengeful energy like they they feel like you have something that should be theirs instead. And for some of you, you might have actually screwed this person over in the past, but I feel like maybe it was like an accident or it was just like things just kind of happened that way, but you were sorry for it, but this person still wants revenge. For others, I just feel like it's jealousy. Like you didn't even do anything to hurt this person, but this person feels like, let's say this was like a friend and you guys were both talking to the same guy or the same woman or something and, and that person chose you instead of them. This person's looking at it now and they're like, like, you know, maybe you've been happily married or you've been in a relationship the past year or something and this person's looking at it like, well, like, why, why the hell did they, you know, that could have been me. Like, they could have chosen me instead. Why did, why did my friend get chosen instead of me? Or like if you got like a work opportunity and your friend didn't get the promotion they were looking for, it's like someone's like looking at you and they're like, I deserve that. Like, why do you have that instead of me? I don't I don't understand. Because um, for, for some, it almost feels like a pride thing. Like there was like some kind of competition. And I don't even know if you were competing, though. That's the thing. And I hope you guys understand when I talk like this, I'm not just rambling, like I am channeling, I'm tuning into the energy, you know, the cards are just kind of a bonus. And I'm going to pull cards in a minute here. But I mean, I'm, I'm tuning into the energy and what I'm feeling off it. But it's, it's like, it's like they were in a competition with you. But for some of you, I don't feel like you even realized they were in competition with you. You know, for some you did, for some you guys were competing for, you know, a uh, like dating you guys were both talking to the same person or something like that and you're the one that won that or you guys were like working together like co-workers and you're you're the one that got the promotion promotion something like that but for others I feel like you didn't even it's like you didn't even do anything to this person they're just looking at you there and they're just upset they're just upset that you they feel like things come easy to you but they don't know that behind the scenes you've actually struggled so much but tell me more about this, um, tell me more about this, this false path. What was with the, the toxic butterfly thing? What is, what is it that they were trying to, what are they trying to do to you? What are they trying to do? Judgment, queen of swords, king of swords, ace of cups. It's really weird, but it's like this person kind of hates you. Like they see you as it's 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 such a strange energy because it's like I don't know if delusional is the right word, but just the energy I feel from it, it's almost like they see you as a really bad person. But it's it's like you didn't really they don't realize how bad of a person they are. They feel like this is justice. Basically, they feel like this is karmic justice. They're, they're so entitled, they're so delusional, they're so jealous, so competitive, competitive with other people um, that they really, they, they don't understand how much bad karma they have either. And they don't understand that they are the cause of their own bad karma. I feel like it's not just with you. I feel like in the past too, this person has looked at other people as well and thought like, why them and not me? Why them and not me? You know what I mean? This is like the type that will you know, this is the type of friend that will just like gossip. Like you go, you talk to them. You guys don't have anything to talk about other than like, like they just want to talk about other people. They want to talk about people on social media. They want to talk, they want to gossip. You go to a club. They don't want to ask how you're doing. They don't want to, they don't want to have like a genuine conversation. They don't want to get deep. They just, they want to gossip. They want to put other people down. Like they're so fixated on what other people have. 
And I don't think they're realizing that they're, they're, they're basically blaming other people. Like they're seeing other people as the problem. Like, like I need to, like a thief, like I need to take that from this person. They're not realizing that they're causing their own bad karma. Because it's like just like their their jealousy and just just wanting to take and take and take and they've done nothing to earn the, the what they're seeking like the the success the 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 happiness they're seeking they've done nothing to put themselves out there for that they've done nothing to earn that so they're looking at all these people around them and thinking wow they have it so easy like these things come so easily to them and it's like they're not. They're not seeing what goes on behind the scenes, like what people had to go through to get there. I mean, even if someone does have something easy, that's still, that's their own good karma. That's their own path. It's it's no one's business, you know? Like, who cares if something comes easily to someone? Like, good, you know? The world is hard enough as it is. Like, I, I love to see people just, you know, get money and get, you know, love and, su and success out of nowhere. Like, that kind of thing, like, makes me happy. It's, like, good for them, you know? The world is enough of a struggle already. Um... But yeah, this is the kind of person that it's like they need people to struggle like they did. And they, they're, they're just so, so bitter and so negative. Um, yeah, bear with me, guys. I'm going to tune into the energy more. I'm going to get into cards, but I'm channeling it so well. I, I, I mean, channeling it so clearly, I feel like I almost, I, I don't know if I even need these quite yet. Um, let me tune into it more a little bit. Yeah, it's like, it's like they're not, yeah, just kind of going back to what I was saying, it's like they're not realizing that they're creating their own bad karma. It's like they're not, like they, they don't, this, not, it's not a very deep person, but it's also not a very empathetic person either. But it's like, I just keep, it's not, like, ditzy isn't the right word, but it's almost like it, they can't process how someone else might deserve good things. Like they can't, they can't fathom it. Like they think they think that they're a really good person and they think that the people around them are kind of the people that they're gossiping about. They think those people are, are the bad people that, you know, haven't worked for it and haven't struggled for it and, and don't deserve it when it's kind of the opposite. You know, they're not a good person and the people around them are actually decent people. And, you know, they're they're seeing these people around them succeed because it's like they have good karma like they you know, it's like they deserve that love. And especially if you're someone who like looks at people and you see them happy and you're like happy for them, then like you're, you're going to have like good karma for that. In my opinion, it's like you're aligning with love, but it's like this person is pushing love and money and success away from themselves without even realizing it. But tell me more about what they tried to do. For some, they wanted to call judgment on a couple. They might've wanted to call judgment. It could be air signs too. They might've wanted to call judgment on a queen and king of swords. Page of wands, six of wands, the devil. Yeah, it's like they want to block someone's success here. Page of cups. Ew, it's such an icky energy. Um, bear with me as we look into this. Or is it a couple that's doing this to you? That could be the case as well, but I'm seeing it for most of you. I'm seeing it as a couple that, um, that like you're the couple and they, they're trying to, they're trying to play God kind of. Again, this person is so delusional that they think you're the bad person and they're the good person and they want to do like a, a role switch basically. Um, and so they're trying to call judgment on you. I think, I think black magic is, it's black magic at play for most people here. Let me see. I'm getting a probably, so it's like not all of you, but like 70% of you, 80% of you maybe. Um, let's put these away and reshuffle and see what we get. What do my viewers need to know about this this jealous toxic person? Tell me more about. Give me give me let me let's go more in depth into this story. King of Wands, Eight of Wands. Two of Cups. The world.
The Hierophant, the Moon. Seven of Wands. What I'm getting here is that with with the first set of cards, at least, what I'm getting is I feel like someone rejected them. Like they got rejected from a job offer. They got rejected from money. For some, it was love. For some, I feel like you're a person. This could be like a third party. This could be someone that you can feel their energy, but you don't even really like know about them. But I feel like a king of wands type, like someone in a very, uh, like, a, like a powerful masculine energy, it could be a female as well, but someone in like a powerful energy, like charismatic, passionate, sent this person a message. They thought about it. They really contemplated things and they said, hey, like I want this cycle to be complete. Like I'm choosing someone else or I'm going on another path. Or if this was like a manager or a CEO or something, they said, hey, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm choosing someone else for the position. Um, or I'm choosing another lover. I, I don't want to continue this. I'm not, I'm not feeling this connection. I want to choose somebody else. I want to be with somebody else. Like if you're dealing with a third party, they might've just wrapped up things with the karmic. They might've just been like, you know what? I'm, I'm done with you. I want to go down a new path. Yeah. Hierophant, the moon, the seven of wands. It's almost like someone's having to hide a commitment right now. Or they're having to hide. It's like a decision has been made, but someone's having to hide it and stand their ground because this person is so competitive and toxic. It's like someone's coming forward, but they're having to do it behind the scenes because they can't say too much right now. Three of wands, six of cups. Yeah, because someone, whether it's you or your person, someone's trying to have a new start. Someone's trying to think about the long term. They're trying to plan ahead. They're trying to put the energy and effort into building something for themselves. And this toxic person wants to, doesn't want them to have that. This toxic person wants to block that for them. They want them to lose everything. The Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Juggling. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. Hmm. I'm going to reshuffle too, I think, because I want to ask another question. I feel like you're, for some of you, it's like you might be single right now and you're like in between, like you're about to manifest something really big and someone really does not want you to manifest that. Someone really feels like you don't deserve it, but we're going to get deeper into this. I'm actually getting, okay, so I know this is, I'm, I'm getting that the storyline, I think it's going to get deeper than I'm expecting, so I'm actually going to do a part two, um, just because I want to make sure, like, that, I feel like there's going to be two very different titles, I don't know for sure what they're going to be, but I feel like people, I'm going to need to do two different titles so that people are intuitively drawn to this video and they know if it's for them because I feel like there's a couple different storylines here but if this is for you just check back I'm going to post part two um, right at the same time as this one so just go right to that